Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying the Rebel Ice Cream. We have three flavors, strawberry, chocolate, and mint chip. I don't know if you wanted to say it or you wanted to You were on a roll. So I was on a roll. Uh, they, they were $5.99 each at Kroger. And the reason I bought these is because um, keto is huge right now. A keto diet, everybody's on a, a keto, some people don't like the word diet. The keto lifestyle is uh, big right now. So these are keto, no sugar added, high fat, low carb um, ice creams. They're natural, non-GMO, grain free, gluten free. Their website is rebelcreamery.com. It says many have discovered that eating foods high in healthy fats and low in carbs, sugar, trains your body to burn fat instead of sugar as an energy source. Common <coughs> benefits people may experience on a low carb, high fat diet are weight loss, increased energy, suppressed appetite, and mental clarity. Net carbs equals total carbs minus fiber, fiber minus erythritol. Erythritol is a natural sweetener that has no impact on blood sugar. Right. The reason I say that is because the carbs listed on the nutritional facts is just the individual carbs. They don't say net carbs. So, like this one is four grams of net carbs. Mm -hmm. What they've done is they've taken the per serving. So, they've taken the 12 grams of regular carbs, total carbs, mm -hmm. uh, minus the three grams of dietary fiber carbs and eight grams of erythritol mm -hmm. uh, carbs. So, so the net carbs are saying it's four grams per serving. There's four servings in the container. Okay, so this one so there's is- 16 total net carbs. Okay, so this one is six. So, six net carbs. So with this one says 13. Minus the dietary fiber. Which is two grams. Minus that one. Minus the erythritol, which is 10. Right. So that's how they get six That's grams. how they're cut up with their six. I don't understand the keto or Atkins and all that. I mean, I read about Atkins years and years ago. Right. So it was Atkins back years ago. That's yeah, what it was. It's almost the same thing. So anyway, and then this one's four grams of net carbs per serving. So, uh, and that is much better than a typical ice cream. Uh, yeah, I didn't do net carbs for those, but like these carbs are only like thirteen and so or so per serving. Those were like. 20 or 30 per serving. Yeah, so, so it's, it is a up big Up to 100 per container, which these are only like 40 per container, so anyway. So this is the strawberry, and half a cup is, or half a cup, 68 grams is 120 calories, and there's four servings in here. So even if you're not looking at keto, if you're just looking at this for calories, yeah, this is a low calorie pint of Less ice cream. Less than 500. Yeah, low calorie pint of ice cream. Uh, what is it? Uh, four, 480, 480 calories for this. So you can buy it for, for either or. Uh, yummy things come to those who wait. For the creamiest ice cream, let your pint soften for at least 15 minutes. It has. It has. But I have to say, they should put that on the outside because. Yeah. I did not know that. I just got lucky. We and, always set the ice cream and out. And set the ice cream out, yeah, so that I don't struggle. But they need to put that on the outside so that people can prepare. Yeah. So that you're not like, you don't want to immediately. It's like you're ready to eat it, you open it up, and you're like, well, crap, now I gotta let it sit. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So that uh, that came out pretty easy because I have let it set out. I tell you what, it just looks like. Uh, vanilla ice cream. It does. It doesn't <laughs> look, it, there's nothing. There's nothing in there. There's nothing to see here. No, it, uh, yeah. you want to eat it out of here? Yeah, I'll just try a bite out of this. There so, are some, are there little red dots in there or my eyes just crazy? There are like little dots of something. Yeah, yeah, there's little dots. But they're so light that even if I, I think if I held it up to the camera, I don't think it would show. It smells like strawberry. It does. It smells good. You know the strawberries there? Mm. It's really good. That tastes like fresh strawberries mm -hmm. to me. You know the fresh strawberries that have just a little bit of that white on the top? Yes. So you get that really ripe strawberry and then you get that hint of unripe strawberry. That's mm -hmm. what those taste like. Mm. I mean that tastes like a natural strawberry. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't look like they've added a lot of dyes or anything like that in there. So No. That's good. The texture's a little, it's not quite as creamy as a, a it's traditional not creamy. ice cream. No, it's not creamy. But it's not, I don't think it's that far off from being creamy. 
It's not like some of the ice cream we've had, which is like grainy and No, really it's not thick. no, it's um, not grain grainy, but it's not like okay. I'm thinking of graters. Yeah, it's not or like or Hagen Yeah, it's definitely it's not, not that. creamy like that. There's no there's no creaminess to it like that. Mm. It's not gritty. I'm not saying that, but it's just not It's not as rich and thick as a regular ice cream. Yeah, but it is good. Yeah. It, it, it is. Really good. It really is. Uh, it has a nice natural strawberry flavor. So definitely you're safe to try it. And, and if you're on keto, just, I guess, go by those net carbs of six grams times four servings. So that's what you would have. Yeah. So, so this, that, 24? this is the chocolate and it has 10 uh, total, carbs. total carbs and then two dietary and then seven grams of erythro. Yeah. So you chocolate. subtract that out and you get four. So this is half a cup. Uh, 68 grams is 140, so 100, yeah, so this one was 120, the chocolate is 140. So it's going to push you just a little over 500. Yeah, but not bad. Still, no, not, still bad not bad for a pint of ice Counting cream. Some pints of ice cream are over 1,000. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think uh, that's bad at all. Yeah, the texture you can tell just scooping it out that it's not. It's, I it don't. It comes off like little flakes. <laughs> I don't want to say chalky, but it's kind of. It breaks up. It's, strangely yes it, it is strange it's it's it is kind of chalky honestly i mean hold your scoop well you can't see in the scoop but when when you're looking at the bowl there's like little slices see of it. it slices it kind of it's not up. that's not creamy and it it's not um i don't know that it's going to start melting we'll see how that strawberry does by the end of this video um yep. yeah it can they're a chunk it's on the floor it's over so so it's coming off in in um it's chalky. That's the best way I could but say. But it's not gritty like. But chalk. it's not gritty. It doesn't. Um, it just slices that way. Mm, the flavor is good. Mm -hmm. um, Texture-wise, it kind of breaks up. Yeah. I do. I agree. I can see what you're saying. Kind of like chalk, kind of mm -hmm. because it kind of collapses. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not gritty, so I don't want you to ever think it's like like chalk. It's not gritty. <laughs> This chocolate ice cream tastes just like a, um, and I'm not trying to diss it, I'm really not, but it tastes like a very basic, typical chocolate ice cream that you could get at any store. Like a, you, like a store brand cheese You know the kind cream. that Ashley likes to get in the cheap carton? Yeah. That's what it tastes yeah, like. Yeah, the flavor is like that. It's it, not even in a regular uh, plastic container. It's in a, a cheap box. Yeah. That's what that tastes like. Um, yeah, the chocolate's just okay. The strawberry was better. Um, it's not bad. I don't think it's bad because I eat the ice cream out of the, the cheap box. Um, you know, so I don't think there's anything wrong with it at all. But that that is just what it tastes yeah. like. So if you like chocolate, I still think you would like that. It's yeah. just, it's this isn't... This isn't graters, you know, you can't compare it to that. Right. So Kevin's already told you about the mint chip. It is 150 calories. So this is the highest calorie one. 150 calories for half a cup. 600 calories. But still, for a bad. whole container, that's, you know, it's not um, as many calories as Ben and Jerry's. No. See how it comes out in big hunks? That, that's, like that. Yeah, that's what we mean by it's not like a slice, like a creamy or something. Yeah. Ooh, I very smell, empty. It almost. Sunny. I think this is going to be really strong. I smell. Yes, yeah, so you can smell the mint. I want to make sure I get a piece of that chocolate. Yeah, you kind of have to break off a piece. I wonder if it's set for a little bit longer mm -hmm. and melted just a little, soften up just a little bit more. If it'd be better. Yeah. You know? I like that. I was worried. From the smell. From the because the smell is very strong. I was worried that it was going to be way overpowering. Like a toothpaste or a chemical. Yes, but it's not. Mm -mm. No, it's good. And the chocolate really does add a lot mm -hmm. of flavor to it. And it's dark. It is a darker chocolate. One thing I like about the chocolate though, it's a melty chocolate. We've had some uh, mint chip ice cream that the chocolate was like um, like gritty chocolatey, mm -hmm. kind of, I mean gritty like yeah, nasty pieces. Right. This is not like that. This no. is like shavings of chocolate. Man. Yes, and it, it is dark chocolate, but that's what makes it work so well with that mint is is because of that, and it it, it does melt really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you like mint, 
and you and you're on keto or something low carb, I think that would be a good one to try. Mm -hmm. That and the strawberry, the chocolate, I would kind of, I don't know, skip almost. But. I got, I, the chocolate, like I said, it's not bad. I mean, it's just, it's very, very basic. It's just, I don't know. It's it, it's hard to pay six dollars for that. That's true. Um, when it, it just, <clears throat> the flavor isn't higher quality, yeah. you know, that you, and you can tell it's not higher quality. The it, strawberry is the best one. The strawberry is the it best one. <laughs> it hasn't melted. So just know that it's not going to have the creamy texture that you're used to, but if you're on keto or even trying to eat lower calorie, this is the best of both worlds, I think, and and I really I, I think these are all good. Um, now we bought six of these Rebel ice creams. These were the basics. I put the basics um, in this the first video, flavors. and then the next video um, I have like the special flavors. I think there's a cookie dough or something like that. So yeah, this just got us started, but we're gonna be trying three more of these. But you would, if you only had the six dollars, because that's a lot of money. If you only had six dollars, then we would both pick the strawberry. Sorry, yeah. yeah. And the mint, the chip, I'm left with a dark chocolate flavor on my mouth. That's the yes. flavor you're left with. And it's very dark. It's pretty dark. Yeah. Not bitter. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.